watching collisions, uh, you really get a good idea about what momentum is. Now, momentum really could be best defined as just being the quantity of motion. So, in other words, more mass means more momentum. Now, a second thing, more velocity means more momentum. So, momentum is an important but really easy concept to grasp. So, here we are. Here's our expression for momentum. It is a vector quantity and it is equal to mass times velocity. Velocity being the vector quantity and mass in this case being the scalar quantity. And so this fire truck on the icy road, of course, is going to have more momentum if it has the same velocity as the car beside it on that icy road. And thank goodness that the fire truck did eventually show up. Now, in momentum and collisions, we have one description, and that is elasticity. There are two extremes of elasticity. Uh, there are two extremes of elasticity. One is inelastic. The second one is elastic. Now, normally, collisions occur across this continuum. They're probably partly inelastic, partly elastic. To simplify things, we look at the two extremes, a purely inelastic collision and a purely elastic collision. In this activity, you're going to be comparing elastic collisions to inelastic collisions, and you're going to be comparing two things. I want you to compare total momentum before and after a collision, and total kinetic energy before and after a collision. And I want you to do that for both elastic and inelastic collisions. So, total momentum means the momentum of both cards together, and keep in mind that momentum is scalar. Keep in mind that momentum is a vector quantity and so uh, we're going to treat a negative value as meaning direction left and a positive value as direction right. And here we go, here go our two carts and this is an elastic collision. There you go. This leaves a trail every one second. So it's ghosting once every second. And there's your ruler to measure that with. You can zoom right in on this quite a piece. So there you go. Okay. Compare momentum and kinetic energy before and after the collisions.